Hey guys, welcome back. Um, sorry about the long delay. It's uh, just work related. A lot of long hours I've been putting in here lately. I do apologize about that. And I wanted to try and get everybody updated with what could be happening, all the rumors and whatnot floating around or out, out there on uh, YouTube and discussion forums. Um, Let's go ahead and get into it. Well, if you haven't already found out, there are some major rumors going around about uh, King Daka might not be returning, but that's not what everyone's understanding. What they're what they're saying is. To me, what I'm, what I'm understanding is they're going to reconfigure King Daka, the Intamin Stratocoaster, which is, a, as of right now, the tallest coaster in the world. It's actually the tallest coaster in the Western Hemisphere right now. Um, but there are rumors floating around that they're going to either re reconfigure the whole layout what they I guess what they're what they've done with uh, top thrill dragster or whatever the heck they named it and run it with the uh, intamin instead so that they can stick with the intamin manufacturer but the other rumor that that is out there and a lot of people say it's been confirmed. A lot of people say it has not started yet. But Green Lantern at a great adventure, the B&M stand-up coaster uh, is going to be leaving the park either the end of this year or sometime next year. So the biggest question is, what Six Flags usually does on something like that, they they can relocate these rides or to other properties that need it the most. Everyone knows already that uh, Frontier City has that extra 60 acres of undeveloped land that you can see here, which they're desperate to put some kind of major coaster in over there what and how big how long how tall and what not what what type now green lantern itself is uh it's already been relocated from uh where was it i think it was kentucky kingdom as chang and it was relocated over to great adventures some sometime in what 2010 2011 and it's been running like that now <coughs> I don't know much about it other than it was relocated. The last time I ever rode a B&M stand-up or, or a stand-up coaster, as far as that goes, was uh, Batman the Escape for, at Old Astral World down in Houston. And to me, I, I didn't really care too much about them, but I wanted to ride it just to get a coaster count. But it, it at that time, I think it was, 2003 two or three or whatever whatever year that was that it just beat my legs to death on the stand-up that is now with that being said if they if they do six flags that is uh, decides to relocate it to one of the smaller properties to help bring up the attendance at these other parks my guess is if they do bring it to Frontier City or however they're going to do it, uh, I would convert the stand-up coaster to uh, uh, either a sit-down or a floorless, probably a floorless to me because that's what they've already done before. Uh, Fireball at was it Great, uh, Great America. I think it was Great America. I can't remember which one it was. Uh, That would be almost perfect. Just put that one right in there and the park t 
to me would be uh, that would that would pack the park. That would slaughter the park. It, the you know the length is what over four thousand feet long. The height would make it the tallest attraction at front. Of, well, not the tallest attraction, but the tallest coaster, and longest coaster, and fastest. At a uh, it would be what one hundred fifty four feet tall. The, the drop would be what about one hundred forty four feet. I'm and the speed would be 63. Now, given that it's a B&M, they do, they are pretty loud, but we wouldn't have to worry about it because the park doesn't stay open late except for during Fright Fest. And maybe, hopefully sometime next year, they can open if they do decide to get it. <coughs> uh, sometime in the summertime, have it opened up at night. But there's a problem the noise factor unless they put unless they decide to put it closer to interstate 35 it really wouldn't affect much because one side of the property is uh farming or a ranch the other side is uh the uh park itself now to the what is it north 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 northeast north northeast of that of the uh, undeveloped land is as a house but even further than that is the housing de development so they could have a company come in and pump in some sand to help quieten the ride itself down because you can't put sand inside the uh, framing of it because it would make it too heavy to relocate it so they'd have to install it pump the sand in like they did with uh, what was that old Ryan up in Canada's Wonderland I think I think it was Orion I'm not sure if it's Orion or not it, the one up in uh, Canada's Wonderland where they had to pump in sand because it was too the B&M was too loud because of the residential area next to it and it made a world of difference so they can do that here. That this is only if you know. This is just my guess that they're gonna. Re again, uh, Great Adventure is looking into closing Green Lantern and possibly removing it, now dismantling it, and maybe relocate it to one of the other properties. That's what. That, that's like I said. That's what I'm saying. That would be all, that would be just perfect for Frontier City. It would increase the attendance dramatically, and on top of that, it would help bring in some more funds to bring in more rides to offset the attendance loss because of uh, Okana being almost completed and ready to open in spring of next year. Uh, that plus we're st still waiting on the construction to begin on the uh, skyscraper uh, we're still not for sure about American Heartland theme park the last time I got anything about that was uh, an email saying that it is it's been put on hold but it will be built uh, and they're saying that uh, about the American Heartland theme park what they're saying about that is is they're waiting for the state to send some kind of funding to Vanita so they can get the water the infrastructure for the city uh, what 35 million dollars and there's just no way that Vanita can even raise that kind of money unless it's private but that's still not gonna be able to do that anyway that's not really what this video is about then then you got the uh, arena being built, fixing to be con constructed. Then you got the soccer stadium that can be constructed. Then coming in 2028, we've got the Olympics coming in to to the state, actually to the city, but it's still the state. So that being said, this is this is something that I have been watching and listening. I didn't really know anything about it until I saw a video about it and I clicked on it. And sure enough, they said that, uh, 
they plan on removing Green Lantern. It was a rumor. It was confirmed. It was a rumor. It was confirmed. Now it's a rumor, and it's back to confirmed again that it's going to be the Green Lantern is going to be leaving the property. Uh, great adventure. Uh, my guess is they're going to either a reconfigure King Daka or b take King Daka out the track layout out leave it because you got to remember the drop tower is part of it and that would be that would be stupid and someone uh, a lot of people mentioned that how Cedar Fair likes to do it is these big major parks because they're right up there by New York and that you know that's about what 40 million people they can put in uh, a B&M Giga similar to Fury Fury 325 to increase the attendance and keep the drop tower where it's at to where it'd be a I don't know iconic structure to where it'd remind everyone what was there but that that's that's up there I don't I don't know much about that because I've never been to Great Adventure so I, I couldn't tell you but that would be kind of stupid if they just removed the whole thing and remove two rides and not, and not replace it that that just that would be stupid we're, we're already having issues trying to get rides back into our park but anyway let me know uh, what you think could it be relocated here if they do go ahead and dismantle it and do go ahead and relocate it if so would you want it to stay as a stand-up or would you want a floorless train set to be placed in there anyway that's my view on it that's my take and uh, thanks for subscribing our new subscribers thanks for joining and like share comment subscribe and thanks for your continued support for frontier city thrills and i'll try and get more videos out take care everyone